So, this is what we got. I'm gonna go in. Um, here, let me change his name. And we'll just use my my name for both spots. Code names are displayed during multiplayer. I won't be doing any multiplayer with anybody else. Um, I'll be playing this pretty much offline and by myself. So. Yeah, yeah that's what you look like. It's now, going. We can finally meet. something that goes over the back okay I wasn't sure if there was something that went over the symbol on my back you can kind of see it still I might push that out a little bit though so you can see it over whatever I have on cool mm -hmm. we finally meet are you clear-headed you will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. I might turn a music The best down. way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Revenants possess special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code of revenants, Stats will differ. To view these stats, select the currently equipped blood code on the menu screen. So this is the field menu. Um, here, I'm going to lower the music a bit. Just so it's not overpowering what words are being said. Okay. So now I'm looking at, yeah, I don't need all that. What's this? So this is the menu. The blood code is fighter. Queen Slayer Claw, Queen Slayer Hammer, Queen Slayer Blade. I have a hammer. So I'll open up the field menu. Is this what you want me to do? That is a fighter blood code, okay. which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever increasing endurance. Wow. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. Okay. Revenants are capable of using unique techniques such as gifts. Which gift can be used depends on the Revenant's blood code. Passive gifts grant constant effects simply by being equipped, while active gifts must be used to grant their effects. So, gifts can be really equipped for me, so she wants me to equip one. That one. Give it a try. Okay. Active gifts will enter cooldown when it's a Effect. After its effect, it cannot be cat regas when cooldown. So hold that. Yes, that will do. Okay. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The lost. You can drain Icor from the lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. I'll Those try. are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. So pushing the right stick the lock on. Weak attack, strong attack, hold it to charge it, dodge and guard, and you can switch weapons here. Ooh. 
Some gifts have additional requirements in order to be used. For example, a triple annihilator and a fighter blood code can only be used when a two-handed sword or hammer is equipped. Okay, so this is dodging. You can still move while you're blocking. Um, does it matter? Nah, they're both kind of slow. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that used up a lot of stamina. Okay. Is there a triangle combo? Okay. Let's try this out though. Okay, that's just that. Okay. I mean, if you're not gonna move, I'll just test this out. Okay. Let's try out this triple annihilator thing. Oh! Whoopsie. So that's blocking. Change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Okay. Excels are providing support and defense buzz with gifts. Um, nope, 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 nope. Right here. Ranger. That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear. That weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. To bayonet, okay. Each piece of equipment has stat requirements and weight. Exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirement greatly decreases your attack power. Oh, okay. Equipment can be changed from the menu, but the main weapon and the sub weapon can be equipped. These weapons can be switched without opening the menu. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. Okay. So, hold to drain it. That's a combo drain. And you can backstab. A large amount of i cord can be covered at once by landing a drain attack on an enemy. Increasing your max i cord will allow you to use gifts that consume more i cord and use gifts multiple times in a row. Okay, so there's that. I block that? Holy crap. There it goes. Ooh. Okay, that's just throw it in a combo. Yeah. Okay. That sums up the Ranger blood code and drain. 
Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. Caster specializes in powerful attack type gifts that can be used from a distance. Hold on. Well. Oh. Yeah, it does. Okay. Whatever. Probably not going to be something I use a lot. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Okay. It's better to lock onto your target when using an offensive gift. Nice. You learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Before I do that, was that a shot? Oh, it is. It's pretty quick. When you're near a missile. Press X. Rest near a missile. When you rest near a missile, you can also acquire gifts contained in your blood codes by selecting acquire inherit gifts and increase your gift proficiency using items. Okay. Um, blazing roar. You discover the gift's latent potential. Once you become fully proficient with a gift, you will lock the ability to inherit it. Okay. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Okay. So, just a quick bit. Okay. gift that Ooh. punishes foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. Fighting rate this is your proficiency with any gifts that are equipped. Once you reach maximum proficiency with the gift, you have mastered it and are able to equip it even after changing blood codes. Gifts do, however, have stat requirements. Even gifts you have mastered cannot be used if you do not meet their stat requirement. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Excellent work. <laughs> it's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. Hmm. The strength of others can become your own. A talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Okay. That was the tutorial, I guess. Now, awaken. And save the world. Welcome back.
Hello. How are you feeling? Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tweak the symbol on his back a little bit. Because I like it and I kind of want to see it, but as you can see, I can only see it at certain angles with it, so I need to have it off of my back a little bit. Woo. It's dry, isn't it? We can go slowly. I am I don't, here with you. I don't think I can speed up, even if I wanted to. Just a bit farther. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. been waiting for such a long time. It seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. Hmm. This way. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot. 
get him. It's time for a bit of fun. It's me. Okay. I can move now. <laughs> uh... Let her sleep. She wore herself out watching over you. Okay. Well, hold on. Let her sleep. Okay. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? What mask? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Okay. Head back there and put on a purifier mask. Let me see everybody else. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. He's got a mask. Stop on. already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories, my family. I have nothing left. Are you going to kill me? Stop. No one. Don't take. Okay. There's no way we're going to find blood beads. The missile's all dried up, and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. Hmm. There's no way to middle. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of the whole lot. Uh. Wandering, they slip because just you. Yeah. So it doesn't look like they say anything more than once. What is he doing? <sighs> it looks like he has a. Good. <laughs> I think that's a blood bead or something in his hand that doesn't have anything left in it. Damn it. What the hell are you staring at? You, you weirdo. does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. The view never improved getting there's nowhere. Okay. Number three and four. New cups still. Time to work. Check your gear and come up. Let me try talking to her again. The view never improves. Getting close to it, there's nowhere to go home to. Even outside of this prison. Okay. Yeah. Wandering, they suggest you. Okay. Yeah, nobody else is going to say anything more except. Let her sleep. Him. He Looks should like say. The folks more. upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. I picked it during my character customization. The will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be careful. So, what do you want to know? According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, 
It's a slave pattern. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, he'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood and you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real-life monsters. <laughs> if our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. Gotcha. Okay. What's the air in this place? place is something in it that speeds <coughs> up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Missile purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the lost. If we what revenants buddies. don't drink human blood, we join the lost. But humans are scarce after the great collapse and all. Folks like us don't get blood, but there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. The Queen frenzied? Um, not everyone wakes up right away. Some are still asleep. We lose our memories and need human blood to survive. Revenants are imperfect, both as weapons and as creatures. But we were needed to fight against the horrors. The Queen was our hope for solving such problems, but... Well, bringing back the dead is already stepping outside the realm of humanity. In the end, she went into a frenzy, and there was a great war involving all revenants. Hmm. <laughs> you didn't really tell me who the queen was, though. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. <laughs> that pretty much covers what I can teach you. <laughs> Guess I'm going up. He didn't really tell me a lot though. I guess it's still early. Would have been nice though. He kind of just gave me a little insight into the world, but not this really who anybody was. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it. We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> nice try. You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. 
You see, it's only a short time before the Collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. Hmm. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. <clears throat> Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. Hmm. <laughs> you can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. The hunter? You heard him. Move it! <coughs> Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Sure, I'll give me a handshake, Oliver. Okay. Big old hammer. When you rest near a missile, your HP and regeneration well, uses out. are restored along with your Icor. However, your Icor stock limit will return to normal if it's been increased by gifts. You can also acquire gifts. Containing your blood codes by certain quarter guess all that stuff. Lastly, beware that defeated enemies will revive our be rest. Okay. Be ready for anything. So yeah, that's totally I guess uh, it won't open. Dark Souls esque bonfire kind of thing. So I'ma just rest here right now. What's in my storage? Mm. Nothing. I'll just leave Oliver with me. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. Ooh. The enemy? I gotta sneak up on him real good. Oops! There it goes. He was eating another one? Oh my god. Is there a parry feature? I guess I never checked the controls. Parry is L2? Sure, I can wait. I don't know if I like that. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. Really? Will that come in handy? Whoa, that's scary. What's scary? You see something I don't, guy? Using an upgrading regeneration. HP can be recovered through the use of regeneration. Resting near missiles will refill your regeneration stock. 
the number of regions after the amount of HP recovered can be increased using region extension factor and region activation factor. Okay. Huh? I mean, you're doing all the killing, guy. Is there something good in there? A heavy axe. Um. Which one's better? It's lighter and does more damage. Yeah, it's better. Each piece of equipment has stat requirements on weight. Exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attack. Not mean the stat requirement greatly decreases your attack power. Okay. Which way do you think is better? Um. I'm assuming I can fall off the map. What do you think that is? I like having a companion, but I don't need them. I mean, it's a cool feature, but... You lose any haze in your possession when you die. Yeah, this is totally Dark Souls, so that's fine. <laughs> hmm. That stamina thing, I'm gonna have to find something with better stamina. Falling here would be seriously bad news. What's that doing there? Focus the your focus gauge fills as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Once it's full, your stamina will be replenished. You'll enter a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can more easily stagger enemies. You also gain the ability to do to knock enemies up into the air and perform drain attacks. Alright, well, let's start slow. First, let me at least try to sneak this guy. Yep. He's dead. bayonet so I got two things so first let's try let's look at this how do I see my weight limit stat Oh, okay. There it is. That's fine. I kind of like that. Hmm. I kind of like that. Yo. 
I'm fine, really. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. I can, like, hear them everywhere. Which means... They might be, like, below me or above me or something. What you want? Oh, I'm trying to get that parry down. That was my fault. So I gotta time that better. Ooh! above us you have what? to use whatever you can to survive behind me and everything mapping during the during the exploration when you purify miasma in the area you'll be able to map your surroundings you can purify miasma by activating a missile purify rot missile defeat the laws that infect that infected with the rot missile And that opens up the map. You see so that too? Is, is there something good in there? Blue hounds. Scaling is plus three. Base is not that great. It's not super strong with gifts. But it looks cool. lighter gifts and drain attacks differ depending on the blood veil you equip blood veils also affect stat scaling and drain rates for example using blazing roar with the blood veil possessing high dark gift efficiency will increase its attack power great it's open So I'm going to rest here for now, um, <clears throat> just so I can at least figure a little bit more out. I'm still figuring this game out. Um, can be learned. Focus stamina reduces stamina spent while you're focused. So I already got that one, already got that, and already got that. I think the star next to it. You discovered a gift's latent potential. Yeah, I know that. So defeat enemies with that equipped. And that one creates a barrier. Okay. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna equip both of those. See if I can figure this out. That helps. OK. 
Okay. Good. And I'll run back Did through you here. I was trying to backstab him. That was ugly. Got it. Oh, that's the dog. Oh, I'm keeping that. Great work. I gotta get better at my parries, though. He likes to interrupt. I might take off a companion while I'm learning the game. If that restored your health too, I guess that would be a little overpowered. It does give you something. Actually, what does that move do? Spend some of your HP to restore the HP of companions. Yeah, no. Ooh, got it. Go get him. it to automatically go to my next when I do the lock on so um, game settings display lock on marker Partner conversations during. Uh, oh, you can learn more though. Blood bell transparency. Oh, uh, I do have that on. Huh? It just wasn't doing it. That was weird. What's this? to do everything. I figure there's a home base I'll probably learn more then. I'm going to just because you know what you're doing more than I do. Oh, that is 
skills there. Stamina boost. I think my whole thing is going to be unlocking all the abilities to be used. So I'm going to go around one more time. Right, let's, try Did you just see movement? let's try my wolfy thing again. Nice. Oh no, I got it. Oh ho ho! These enemies are fairly easy right now, so... So, <laughs> I'm assuming so. Why are you taking my sweet kills after I do something awesome? Knock it off. I could just swing a weapon too, you know. I'm trying to trying to learn here. kind of a rude question. I'm awesome. That's what I am. Even that, that was a human once? Jeez. I th I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up a little bit and then see what happens when I come back. Um, oh, I'm done with this. Right? Yeah, all of those are done. So I need to switch what I am. Guard stability reduces stamina consumption from guarding while you are focused. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. Okay. So. Let me do this. Switch to this one. Uh, 
put that one on and increase my max HP I'll just put them all on those are all the passives um, I don't see myself using that so I'm actually going to just take that off Put this one on, and then put this one. There we go. Like, I don't see myself sacrificing my health for a helper. For, for my helper at the at least at the moment like if I get to a point where I'm really good information about the controls and hints on exploration can be viewed at any time but okay like if, if I get really good at this sure This place is so cramped. It's too cramped. Calm down. We got a fight in front of us, man. Oh, the tracking. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> I'm blown away. His tracking was ridiculous. See anything? There are many items left nearby. That's all that does. Okay. <coughs> Holy crap! Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Uh oh. Could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. You already were complaining about <laughs> Don't your worry mask. about me. I'll be all right. Go on. Oh no! You just focus on finding some blood beads. All right? That girl is waiting for you. Oh no! I don't have you still in my kills. Come on. I'm one, I'm one child of Perry. Let's get it. Oh, too early. That hurt. There we go. Okay. So he's down right there. Oh, there's a chest right there. Queen Slayer Greatsword. Um, if I fall, I don't think I need to roll, but we'll see. That wasn't a really far fall off. I do want to walk back around.
Hey, bro. Huh? Now I don't got him still in my kills. Let's let's see what I can do. What you got? Come on, come on. Alright. Can still pull off easy backstabs if I'm quick enough. Didn't say ooh, ooh, ooh. How much does blocking actually block? That's what I wanna see. Okay, so like ten. Right. It only dropped me by ten. That's how you use healing. the heck was your flailing arm spin crap? Yeah. Ooh, poison. Okay. I know this seems a little boring like I'm running circles, but I'm just trying to, at least the starter things, I want to get those up and done with. So hopefully this here is my last pass because Even with that done. Boom. Um, what do I want? Uh, boost my maximum stamina boost. Oops. Uh, didn't realize that. There we go. And put that one on. Put that one on. So that's two of those.
Yeah, there we go. Hey, what's up, Alu? How's it going? <coughs> Dash forward and mist form out. Just because I want to see it. Oh, that's not overly crazy, but not bad either. Oh. There we go. <laughs> um, how far does that go? Oh, that was a one hit kill. Come on, Let's get the parry. So I can get some of that energy back. Um, so that boosts how much Icor I have without doing drain attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, and a lot of it is exactly like Dark Souls style. So you have, um, missiles that are like, um, they're like basically white flowers that are basically bonfires. I like that. That's super powerful. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Back steps. <laughs> okay, he's done. What's this one? Oh, that's just a quick shot. Plus, I made my character look exactly how I wanted him to. Wow, you're still going. Okay. A lost broadsword. I might put that on. I think he'll block it. Let me see. Yeah, he blocked it. All right. I wish I had a shield. <laughs> uh oh. That was probably the most interesting fight I've had so far. <laughs> I think those are things that upgrade oh, the weapon. Okay. But now that I got that maxed out. I think I want to do that. And let's just move on. I think I can sneak up on him. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this blood code doesn't let you use doesn't let you use two handers except for the Alive! Oh no! Oh! Oh! I'm gonna start using this a little bit. I kinda wanna see how it works. Okay. Turn your back on me after roaring at me. Okay. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, that was awesome! Almost died though.
Okay. I hear somebody else walking. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, I can't hit him from here? Oh no. Um, where's my inventory? What's this? Medicine that permanently increases the number of times regeneration can be used. Sweet. Nothing else over here. Okay. Then you just walk down over here. Okay. Am I gonna hate myself for doing that? You can level up and spend haze when resting on a missile. A lot of increases your HP, stamina, attack, and gift power. Okay, give me that. Activate it. I don't think I gotta rest at it for it to really take effect. God. Go. Ah! Oh. Oh. right I forgot you could do that oh man what's this one it's like a scorpion tail thing I like the, the dogs better. <laughs> oh. oh, that was hard. Okay. Um. Level up. How much does that increase by? It actually increases by a lot, but... How much haze does it take? That takes a lot. I'll wait. Who's this? Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too. I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? 
Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry, I'm not gonna stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. Sure, why not? Um. So yeah, a nice little Good feature having a companion. I didn't even know that was there. I would have missed that. I would have too. I just so happened to look down. So I think you cleaned out most of the enemies here. I won't take long. Okay. Do I want to climb down? Ooh. We can go down from here. Why would I? That's it. You're buffing me, bro? Um, that one's looking at me. So if I were to go down, he'd be looking right in our face. Let's go this way. See if I can sneak up on him. Good. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take it nice and easy. I hate this thing. Oh no. I'm dead. He revived me. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Save me! Uh. Uh. No! Oh! Okay. That thing is hard. I'm glad your heart's okay. Holy crap. I gotta go get that stuff now. A review of our tactics might be in order. Yeah, that didn't go well.
taking out the one was fine. The one I snuck up on. But that thing is hard. Maybe I need to draw him out. I mean, he was one hit away, though. Something we can use? I think so. I probably didn't even need to do that. I don't know why I just used that. Sorry. I'm on my way. That's okay, dude. You seem nicer and less dumb than the other one. Well, he wasn't dumb. He just got himself killed. Blood springs has special properties that can activate. Oh, your blood has special properties that have that can activate dried up blood springs. Once revived, blood springs will start producing blood beads again. Uh, these blood beads have the same composition as human blood. Revenants have been using these to quench their bloodthirst, so it's so they don't feed on. Uh, an alternative for feeding on humans. Areas mapped. What does this say? Seven items nearby. I like that ability. All of those are owned. Everything has its stuff. Um. What I want to do is switch this. The defense Make on sure this you're good and ready. It's not good. What is defense? What is defense on this? Um, vitality probably? And fortitude. A 
Okay, so strength does physical attack and HP. So I need good strength. Dexterity is for your draining. Mind is for your stamina, drain speed, and light gifts. Affects elemental resistance and dark gifts. Affects HP and physical damage reduction. Affects stamina and elemental resistance. So honestly, if I were to do a stat build, I'd probably do these three based off what I think the light gifts is mine I don't know because I know there's electricity in this game I don't know what light gives versus dark gifts. so it's either it's probably vitality vitality fortitude and then either mind or willpower so because of that Let's put this one on. Now let's change some stuff out. Okay. Trim play applies a venom effect to your current weapon. That's fine. I like that. That's cool. Oh, I can't use that. You need willpower B for that. I core cost is one. Non physical. Okay. Um, I don't need that dash. Let's put that on. I like that move. Then we got stamina boost. I'll put stamina boost and health boost on. Increases drain rating of weapon attacks. I don't know about that yet. There's still a lot I gotta learn on this. Use to return to last missile in memory without losing haze. <laughs> Useful for grabbing a foe's attention. Why would you do that? be used as a temporary marker hey you that's uh, forget it we'll talk later to see a cave connected to a building. Seven more. It's open. in every way. Why would I use that? to change some stuff. I like both of those. Dark gifts. I'll just put that on. I don't need that. Oh, but I can't use the laser? 
What about this? Ooh, I can put that one on. Take that off, put this one on. And then put that on. Not ideal, but it's not terrible either. <coughs> Place is tight. Yeah. Not a lot of room to dodge here. That's how we do. <laughs> Not bad. Look at that. Ooh. How about that? so much haze I don't really want to lose it all off of something stupid there's don't that don't lose your footing I know I'm working on it oh Ooh, something up here that's quite valuable let's use it well is there anything down the stairs? Did I miss something? Nope. That's blocked. Okay. Okay, here we go, guy. I need him to come through here. I feel like he's a trap. Oh my god! Okay. Watch out! What do you see? Oh! Ho Where was he at? Was he above me? Or did he jump up? I don't like that. This lake was formed from a hole created by a thorn of judgment. Gosh, what are you doing? Watch your head, enemy present. Yeah, I see him. I don't want to shoot him though. He had, he had to have been like on the ceiling or something and I missed it. You wouldn't come back after falling down there. I'm not gonna fall. Okay. You're scaring me, bro. Are you expecting me to fall? Jeez. OK. 
Okay. There are no items left nearby. Sweet. Okay. Back on the surface again. Good. That's light from the surface. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. Cast aside their doubt. Alright, let's fight. First boss, let's go. Okay. You got a slow swing. did he turn into? Yeah. Look like a hurt. Oh my god. you with that parry oh I should have kept it nice having a companion makes boss fight easier because in Dark Souls everything's always focused on you whether there's more than one enemy or not in this case right. I had help by the way both of you all revenants must pay a levy there are oh. no exceptions a vestige best to stay away from those stones Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Uh-oh. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. I think I'm just supposed to take it. I hear a voice. I hear a voice. I'll keep watch. Go and see if she's all right. What? I'll keep watch. Go and see if she's all right. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Okay. Wait, what are you? Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's alright. 
You can do it. How do you know? Something's up with her. I mean, I know there's something wrong with me, but. I like that my lightning <laughs> on my above, over my eye was glowing too. This game made my character come to life. Oh yeah, the thing on my back is still... So yeah, um... How far out would I need to have it if I were to keep wearing this coat? Curious. Maybe I'll move it up? Where am I? <laughs> I'm looking at my clothes! <laughs> and how I look! And so I'm trying to figure out where... Just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must, must pay, pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. This is um, the guy's past. What happens? Can I break that? Touch that? Can I fall off? I don't think so. Okay. It don't look Daddy, like it. For me. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. The few humans that remain are under Silva's control. Wandering revenants like us are forced to hunt for blood beads or face death. Even if Even some, some revenants must, must be sacrificed, sacrificed for our survival. Well, I guess you reap what you sow, right? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. Oh, that was right there where he was in the in the cave. He said that after I left. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Is this the past of one of the lost? No. There's no way. Oh, he went. Uh, so was he was in there with me. Carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. 
Your, your name said Lewis to me. Did he say Louis? Berserker. Code owner Oliver Collins features high strength and endurance. Its low Ikor stock can be offset with heavy armor. Huh. I don't know. I don't feel like I use my Ikor all that much at the moment. The occasional shot here and there for range. But I don't have to have it. We'll see. That might change later. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going for right now. Like I said, I researched the game a little bit, but not enough to know exactly what I want to go for. Ugly, isn't it? I look cool. The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? I don't know. You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? No, not really. It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. I was talking for him because my guy obviously doesn't have a voice. <laughs> for now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna explore this, and then probably end the stream in a little bit. Um. Where is this? Enthralling magazine. Uh oh. What's this? Talk to Lewis and gather more information. Adjust appearance. I like that. Read the note. Harbinger, you can claim the pre order bonus blood code Harbinger from the underground storage. Okay. Season pass bonus. Talk to the figure in the underground storage to have the season pass NPC and alternate me a white version accompany you as a partner. Okay, that sounds cool. And then you can claim the season pass blood code Estrella. Okay. What's that? What's that? What did that say? Lie down? No. Lie down. I'm just laying right on people's beds. Okay, this is. This. Alternate. Oh, this is the underground storage. Okay. Alternate Mia White version is available as a companion. Uh. Sure. I'm now partnered with her. What's this? This is the Harbinger. Boasts high power and unique gifts. That can only be used by those with determination. What is this one? Estrella provides balance and stability in combat and features gifts useful during exploration. Okay. 
that's a good exploring one. And then I already have that. And then, okay. Go up. I don't know who Mia is yet, but it's fine. Is there a way to change my appearance? And then put my stuff on. Accessories. Okay. Uh, or so one, two. Let's just try two. So it looks like it's floating off my back a little bit. Let's see what two looks like. Um, and we'll see if they'll let me. I don't mind seeing it float off my back a little bit. If it looks too dumb, though, I won't do it with this. Begin training. Oh, that's it. Oof. Um, finish training. I didn't really change anything. Did I actually do it or did I? Yeah, that's it. If it doesn't work, it, it doesn't work. I'm not, I'm not gonna be mad about it. Whoa, too far. Let's do that one. <laughs> it looks like it's just floating in space. I love the way my character looks. I don't really want to change my character, but I want that. I want to see what that looks like. Almost. Oh, that's so close. Um, let's try two more. By the way, I like that one, but I also like this one. You know what? I'm going to put this one on. Uh, let's get the color right. Was that what I was using? Glowing. Yeah, that was it. Um, let's edit it. I want it up higher. Okay. And I want it out there. I mean, that looks a little ridiculous, though. Maybe I need to bring it back in. Yeah, that's too far. <laughs> that's way too far. <laughs> So now it doesn't even, this one's so much different from that other one, really? Okay. What is all of this, by the way? Read a note. Code vein, hellfire night. And the dust can be found in the room added to the hallway beyond the cr 
Crypt Spire and Special Buff. So these are all the DLC things. The Lord of Thunder is the one I want to do. Maybe I'll get like an electric weapon or something from there. Alright, looking at this, there's a couple things I want to do. First of all, let's make it a little bigger. Let's bring it back a little bit. Let's do right about there. Come on, look cool. Is there a way to I don't know why I'm doing it this way it, maybe there's a way to put okay that looks better just barely wrong Is there a way to oh see look I I'm so sorry guys I am not the smartest individual okay um, there's a way to tip it And it looks like it's pinned to his back if I leave it like that. I wish it was like an undo button. Jeez. Right there. Well, I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. And now, in case you ever run into the issue, you know how to switch that without running back and forth like I was just doing. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. I don't know if I like the bolt in the middle though, like I was having it.
I do want to reset it. Let's reset it like that. Grip that. Put that on it. And then we got this. Oh, it's like, oh. Okay. Okay. Now we want to tip it slightly. Like that, okay. Okay, from now. like that. Okay, so that way all my jackets have my logo, <laughs> the one I'm claiming. I might change that later. Uh, Especially if I get enough people to say that it looks dumb, but <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> All right. And for now, I am done. Um. I might have it too low. Here, I'm gonna rest at this and look at the other things. Spend some of this while I'm still streaming. Harbinger. Deals massive damage to the area around you, but leaves you on the brink of death. Is there a way to just unlock it? You can use haze and certain materials to max out your proficiency with gifts. Unlocking the ability to inherit them, doing so enables you to use them even with a different blood code. Equipped. Yeah. Because I don't see myself running around with just that one okay what is this oh this is her stuff sacrifice your HP to heal your partner and, temp and temporarily boost your defense that's pretty cool torchbearer restores your energy your regeneration power when your partner reaches zero HP. 
and disperses. That's pretty handy. Yep, let's put that one on. A hundred percent. I want that so much. Oh, that's light? Um, temporary length is the effect of gifts used by you and your partner. Hmm. Why not? I spent all that extra time down there leveling it up. Why not? You know, getting all that extra haze. So dash forward to make a powerful overhead attack. Two-handed sword or a hammer. Increases balance. That's a passive. Temporarily makes it easier to stagger enemies with my weapon. Okay. Now that I got all that set up. What's this? Guardian 8. Sacrifice HPD. Oh yeah, that's that one. But that one doesn't upgrade. Alright, let's put that down there. There's one... But I might not use that much. Where's the electricity? I want that. Lengthens the effects. Torch bear. That's kind of handy. And we'll put this one on. There we go. Alright. So I think that should do it for now. I'll probably be back on later. Um, so far, I'm really liking this game. Um, the theme and everything. Plus, like I said, I can make a character 100% the way I want. It's just going to take some time to figure out um, exactly what skills and stuff I want and weapons I want to use. But using the uh, that character creator, I mean, there are so many different options. Made it really fun. So Anyway, thanks for the views, guys. And uh, I will catch you later.